living under God's provision. Whenever we move away from God, destruction comes upon us. What I mean is when we become so educated, so independent, and so proud that we don't need God and we neglect to look to God for direction and we fail to honor his foundational rules, then we run into problems. Throughout the Bible, we see the cycle of life the cycle of struggle, prosperity, and destruction. When we are in a struggle, we pray. And when we pray, God hears us and blesses us with prosperity. And then in prosperity is where most people seem to forget how they became prosperous. Without intention of moving away from God, we become so busy with our lives as we get involved in other people's lives that we don't have time for God. So while we are busy living, we tend to fall into seeking logical solutions rather than seeking God in prayer. You may recall the children of Israel inherited the promised land because the inhabitants of the promised land of Canaan fell into sin. The reason God turned Canaan over to the children of Israel was because the inhabitants of Canaan fell into sin. Could the same thing happen to our nation? I believe most of us want God to bless our country rather than give it as an inheritance to another nation. So what do we do? If we study the word of God time after time, the people move from destruction when they repent of their sin and begin to pray. In Second Chronicles 7 and 14, we find steps about what we should do. Follow it to the letter, and I believe we will see God move in our favor. In the next verse, Second Chronicles 7 and 15 tells us God is listening for our prayers. Will you pray? Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. 15. Now mine eyes shall be open, and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place.